Hello, my name is Craig Summers. I specialize in naturopathy and today I'm going to be teaching about electromagnetic radiation and microwave radiation emitting from mobile phones. You see mobile phones emit both types of radiation. Most of the time you just hear about the RF or radio frequency that comes out of a mobile phone when the antenna on your phone is communicating with another antenna in the neighborhood. But most people don't understand that there is electromagnetic radiation coming out of mobile phones as well. And that's from the operation of the phone. There's a battery in there, there's a light, there's a speaker making sound, there's other electrical components that produce electromagnetic radiation. Many studies have been done on electromagnetic radiation and they found that there are definitely biological effects, higher cancer rates. For instance, in the New England Journal of Medicine, there was a study published on electrical workers, and they found they had twice the rates of leukemia as workers in any other field in the United States. There was Dr. Robert Becker, who had a group of laboratory animals who all had the same cancers. He split them up into two groups. The groups exposed to electromagnetic radiation, their cancers grew twice as fast as the control groups. And there was also a study done on chickens. They exposed chickens to electromagnetic radiation and it found that the amount of calcium in their brains were changed. So let's see how much electromagnetic radiation comes out of a, a mobile phone. What I have here is a gauss meter. Gauss meters measure electromagnetic radiation. This gauss meter is set on the 0 to 100 scale and that's the top scale. You'll notice there's a dotted red line below 3 and a solid red line above 3. Experts in Europe say that below two and a half milligauss is considered safe and above it is not. And many experts in the United States also are saying that below two and a half milligauss is considered safe. Now this upper scale goes to 100. I want to take this mobile phone and I'm going to dial our friendly customer service line and let's see what happens. Whoa! Pinned over 100 milligauss. Now as we move the phone away you notice it drops off. You move the phone back, it's very high. So if you're going to use this phone on speakerphone, holding it a few feet away from your head, the electromagnetic radiation would drop off, which would be good, but holding it right up next to your head is not good. Many people believe that by using a headset, you're protected from the electromagnetic radiation. But in reality, you're actually not. You see, in a regular headset, there is a wire and electricity travels through this wire to the speaker. That speaker is located right next to your brain and it's sending out electromagnetic radiation right into your head. Okay, put this on the speaker there and see if you hear some sound coming out. Thank you for calling Straight Talk. If you wish to repeat our next okay. during this call. Let's put this back onto the meter. And we see when the sound comes out, what type of electromagnetic radiation do we have? They must have stopped talking. There we go. So we're still way above the safe threshold. There we go, they're talking again. You see it's up at 100 milligauss when the sound's coming out put that on there. Let's see if you hear some sound coming out of that. Thank you for calling track phone. All right. Now let's end that call. We'll put on the radiation reducing headset, also known as the radiation free headset, and we'll make a call. See the way that this headset works, this is actually an air filled tube. And the speaker is located down here. Just like a doctor's stethoscope it sends the sound up the tube and no electricity like a wire conducts electricity just the sound goes through and comes out here and no electromagnetic radiation is emitted out of this type of headset so we dial customer service press send let's see when the sound comes out what type of field we'll find here we go put that on the speaker there you hear them talking 
put that on there. Find that we will have no electromagnetic radiation coming out of this headset. Put it back on the mic again one more time so they can Press see one. that it's actually talking. Back on here. Nothing comes out. All right, now let's unplug this headset. Put the phone on there. Bam. Pinned up over 100 milligauss. Move it away. Move it back. So this headset that I'm showing you is called the Envy. And comes in many models. The one that I've been showing you is this earbud type. But there's also the type with the ear hook. Also has the ear filled tube. And that comes in a box that looks like this. And you put that hook over your ear. And some people like it a lot because it's very hard to lose it. Whereas earbuds, for some people's ear configuration, don't stay in well. And this ear hook type also comes in stereo with two of them, one for each ear. And then the earbud type, like we showed you before, comes in stereo as well. So you can put one in each ear. And these will also fit in your iPods so you can listen to music because those little iPod machines also create electromagnetic fields in the speakers when you listen to them. This uh, radiation-free headset comes with three different size ear cushions, small, medium, and large, depending on the size of your ear canal. And uh, the medium one is on here right now. So I hope you learned something today, and uh, thank you for listening.